Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the video about decomposition tree. So in this short video, I'm going to introduce this visual. In the next videos, I'm going a bit further about that. So this visual has been added in uh, late 2019 and is actually has a preview one. That means that it's not, uh, it may change a bit. Uh, so you need to have a latest Power BI version in your machine. Uh, then you need to go to the file if you couldn't see there so this is my one that i have so the composition tree you can see here if you couldn't see there you need to go to the file to the option and setting and option and under the option there is a uh, one that is preview feature so um, most of the preview feature they are not available for you so you need to go there make it available and then you need to close and open your power bi desktop so I'm going to use this one. So what I might have, I have a house price uh, data set. Is a, as, as the name mentioned, is a, uh, about the house price. It has different columns. As you see, the house price, the sales, the sales condition of the house, the sale type, year sold, and many, many different ones. So I'm going to load the data over here. So uh, I'm going to analyze that. So let's see that how it actually works. So this is my visual that is decomposition tree. Uh, just a notation, most of the visual that they have a lamp beside them like decomposition tree or if I click on the in key influencer that I already have a one, you see that there is a lamp beside them. They have AI feature. They have embedded AI feature which is really great. So this is a sign you see also there is a yellow lamp beside that so i choose this visual over here so i have two options to do that i have a fields for analyze so i'm going to analyze i'm going to analyze the sales price i want to see that what is the decomposition of the sales price for other variable so for the analyze one i'm searching for the sale price search for the sale price this is here i'm going to analyze the average of the sales price so i click on the average and also i want to see that how is the composition with a sale type or sale condition you can choose both of them i want to see it uh, to see the base on the year bill so i think that's also interesting to me and also you can add other one like overall quality so i uh, search for overall quality that is this one okay so what you can see here is just you see a bar with the average of the sales price for whole difference so this is the average of the sales price but here there is a plus sign so this plus sign allows me to go and see the decomposition of my data based on other variables so i click on that and as you see i have a couple of different options i can see the decomposition of my data based on sale type based on year build and based on overall condition or there is two options that as you see at the top there's a high value and low value the high value and low value they have a lamp beside them this is based on the ai feature i will talk about this in the next video so for now imagine that i'm going to check based on the year Bill. So I click on the year bill. There is a new level, like a tree coming. So this composition, the first layer of the decomposition tree will be shown here. So first of all, the highest value is related to 2010. So in 2010, we have a highest average sales. And then in 2008, 1893, 1892, and you can also actually, you see, you can go down and check the data. You see there is an arrow, so you can go down and check the other type of data. If you are not happy about that, you want to analyze, for example, based on the sale top. So you can back there, choose based on the sale type. So this is a sale top. Now you can actually extend it. So here, just before I'm going to the next level, the value that you see here, for example, the average of the sales price for the sale top of new uh, condition CW and the other, these numbers is actually the sum of them is equal to this one. So if you want to check, you can just uh, use a calculator i did that i want to try it and it was okay actually it was the same so uh this summation of these actually is a, should be equal to 
this one. So this is a one. So I analyze that. So imagine I back to the year wheel to make it a bit nicer. I want to see that in 2019, what sort of, uh, or in 2018, what sort of the sale type we have. So now I can see that the average of the total sale price was this one. And then in 2018, that was, uh, the average was this. And these are the summation exactly the, for the uh, 2018. So this actually help you to have a look. You can also combine it with the other uh, visuals. So I can said, oh, I want to analyze it based on the neighborhood. So for example, I want to see that what's happened in the summerest neighborhood and I can analyze the data based on that. So this is just an introduction to this visual. In the next videos, I'm going to go more deep, more features about that, about the AI, about the uh, how you look at the absolute and the relative value and the other information. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. Looking forward for the next one.